Managing Accurate Resin Curing. There are four variables that affect the energy delivery to a restoration. These four variables are the choice of curing light, the operator technique, the location of the restoration, and the type of resin used. Mark can be used to show the effect of different operators and their techniques on the amount of energy delivered. Here we're going to see two operators using the same curing light for the same time on the same tooth. Okay. Sonia, please cure tooth number 27. As you can see, she was really focusing on her technique and she delivered 13.2 joules per centimeter squared of energy. Okay, Mrs. Jones, we're just going to cure that filling for you now. Here we see that he delivered 12 joules of energy. This video showed two different operators using the same curing light for the same time on the same tooth. There was a 1.2 joules per centimeter squared difference in the amount of energy they delivered. The operators in the last two clips were both demonstrating good light curing technique. They were wearing eye protection, they were watching and paying attention to what they were doing and they both use the same light on the same tooth. In both cases they delivered more than 10 joules but there was a difference of approximately 10 percent between the two operators. We have made hundreds of recordings using Mark and this shows an example of a light delivery pattern we have observed many times. The dentist here started out on the tooth but then the light moved away from the tooth and the amount of energy they delivered decreased. As you can see, at the end of 10 seconds, using the same light as in the previous two clips, the dentist only delivered 1.9 joules per centimeter squared.